What is up guys, Fire here, here from AwesomeDudes.com and this will probably be the last video in these or in this tutorial series. What is left for us to do is kill the cat when it's fun, it falls down into the water, play the cat die sound and make the splash effect. Before we do that, go here, AwesomeDudes.com, this course, Unity 3D course, if you want to master 3D games, there is no, I repeat, there is no better 3D course on the internet. If you want to learn 3D games and how to code them like the pros do, go and get the course. If you want course discounts, sign up to my mailing list. You can download the assets for this tutorial series along with the complete or the finished project. Link is in the description down below and that way you will get on my mailing list and get, well, free stuff along with course discounts. So the first thing that I want to do now is remember this one. So this dude right here, the water fountain unity package that I said, do not touch him. Well, now we're going to import him. So now you can touch him and I am going to go right click and I'm going to click on or go here, import package and I'm going to import the custom package. So click on custom package and now we need to go and search for it. So mine is located under here. Awesome toots, projects and assets. And this one is, so here it is. And I am going to simply double click it and import it. It's going to import it here into the prefabs folder. It's water fountain. As you can see, we will need to remove this script. You see here, we have a script it's missing. Click on the gear icon at the top right corner of the script component. So notice this is the script component. Click on the little gear icon here and click on remove component and we're good to go. So now I'm going to drag the water fountain here in the game and let me just see if the water fountain, it's not even active. So if I activate it, this is the effect that we have. You see, this is the effect that we have and that we need. So. What I want to do now is go inside of the cat movement. So here in the cat movement, here we are going to declare this private game object water effect. So water FX. And here we said later, here we will add code for the water effect. So that code is going to be water. So water FX is equal to game object dot find. And we need to find the game object. So remember the name that you put here needs to match up with the name that we have here. So I'm going to click on the water fountain and I'm going to, well, copy the name of it and go back into the script, paste the name here. This is, well, this way I'm 100% sure that the name is accurate. Now, when we start the game, we don't want to see these splashes as we see them right now. So what we want to do is go here after we get the reference to the water FX object inside of our game. I'm simply going to say water FX dot set active is now equal to false. So I'll simply want to deactivate the game object. And inside of the update function, we're going to check if the cat is dead and how we're going to do that, where well, we're going to do that by using if transform that position that y is less than zero. So if the position y of the cat is less than zero, and if we take the cat now, the position is currently at 1.18. If I run the game, the current position is at two or 0 0.2. So only if it's less than zero, the cat is going to die. So going back into the script, if the current position of the cat, the position Y is less than zero, what we want to do, we want to check if our water effect game object is not active in the hierarchy. So this active in the hierarchy, notice, is the game object active in the scene? So what does that mean? Well, if you go here, select the water fountain, the game object is currently active, which we can see. If I uncheck this checkbox here at the top left corner in the inspector panel right next to this cube. So if I deactivate it, the game object is not active in the scene. What does it mean if the game object is not active in the scene? It actually means that all of the components on the game objects will not work. The collision will not be detected with this game object. It's like it's not there. But we can get a reference to it and then we can use set active true or false to activate it or deactivate it. In the start function here, we set it to be not active. So here we need to check if it's not active. 
Now this active in hierarchy is gonna return true if the game object is active in the hierarchy, but I'm gonna put an exclamation mark here and I've talked about this numerous of times. Exclamation mark makes what's after it the opposite. So if the water game object is not active, it will return false. But the exclamation mark will make it the opposite. So what's the opposite of false? Well, the opposite is true. And essentially here we're asking, because we added the exclamation mark at the beginning, we are asking if the water fx game object is not active in the hierarchy. So if it's not active in the hierarchy, we're simply gonna say audio manager dot clip is now equal to cat die clip. And we're gonna say audio manager dot play the clip. So we're gonna play the cat die sound. Simply changing here the clip because if you remember, if I select the cat game object, the initial clip is cat jump. We attached here, actually we did not, so we need to cat die. So I'm going to click here on the empty field and I am going to simply add the cat die game or actually the cat die audio clip and hit apply so that this change applies to the prefab. Now, again, if you did not add the cat die sound, click on the little circle here and then you can filter and find here cat die sound or clip. So the initial clip here is the cat jump and here we have the cat die and we want to change the clip. So the current clip now should be cat die and play the cat die sound. After that, what we want to do? Well, we want to call lean tween, which is this component right here in assets and in scripts, this one right here, this lean tween. This is gonna, so I'm gonna call here lean tween and I'm gonna say rotate around a local and notice here, rotate a rec transform object around its local axis using Unity GUI, but this can also be used for a regular game object, not only for the rec transform. So rotate around local, local and it's gonna be around the game object and we're gonna say the direction where we want to rotate is the left side so rotate it at the left side the angle is gonna be 90 degrees and the time of rotation is gonna be 5 so again rotate this game object so rotate around its local meaning around its own position relative to his own local axes so rotate the game object, which is, well, the cat game object, because the game or the game object that has this script attached on it is the cat. So rotate the cat in the left direction by 90 degrees in 0.5 of a second. This is what we are doing here. And then we need to call get component. And we're going to get the box collider component from the cat. And we need to say is trigger is now true. And I'm going to uncomment or actually comment this line of code so we will see why am I doing this. And is dead is also now true because we want to denote that we are dead. We cannot jump anymore because here if we are not dead, we will be able to jump. So now we are dead and well, how can a dead cat jump? And after that, we're simply going to call water effect dot set active to be true. And we are simply going to say water effect dot transform dot position is equal to new vector three and we're gonna pass the transform dot position dot x and we're gonna say minus 0 0.5 for the y and we're gonna pass transform dot position dot z why we are doing it like this well we want to position the effect where the cat has died because the initial position of the water fountain here is well here at negative 0 0.500, 0, but what if our cat is somewhere around 10 for the X and Z is gonna be 20 maybe. So because of that, we're simply gonna take the water effects transform position, position it where the cat's X position and the Z position currently is and negative 0 0.5 for the Y axis. So what we can do now is we can run the game and see that in action, I'm gonna lower the volume so notice now when I fall into the water, I'm going to rotate the cat and notice now. And do you see what I see here? First of all, you see the splash is going on and on and on. We need to deactivate it. 
Also, you see this right here. The cat is like, you know, dead. What I want to do is, well, I want to uncomment this line of code. So now it's a trigger, it will fall down. So let me go back and test it again. So if I hit the play button now, notice what's going to happen. So you saw the cat just fell down and the splash is still here. So we need to take care of the splash. I'm not going to create a new folder. So if you want to group it, simply create a new folder. But this is the last group that we're going to create. So here I'm going to see water fountain script. And we need to attach it on the water fountain itself. And I am simply going to go here. And what we want to do is that we are simply going to create a function instead of the update. Let me just remove all this here. Void, stop, water. And here I'm simply going to say get component, the particle emitter. So get it. And I'm going to say emit is now equal to false. So the particle emitter who is actually emitting these splashes i'm gonna say to him okay i don't want you to emit anything and also notice here we need to attach the clip so i'm gonna go here and attach fall water clip so this clip we need to attach it and let me just hit apply so again here for the audio source for the clip click on the little circle and select fall water and also attach the water fountain script on this game object Again here, we are simply going to get the particle emitter and say stop emitting these particles. And here we are simply going to say invoke and, well, invoke the stop water. So here I'm going to say invoke in one second. So after the second passes, this invoke is going to call this function. I talked about the invoke is going to call this function and this is the time in which it's going to call it. You can, well, add any number here that you want. If you add 10, it's going to call it after 10 seconds. So I'm calling here one or telling or typing, whatever you want to call it, one, which means after one second, it will call stop water, which is this one right here. It will get the particle emitter component and it will stop emitting the particles. And pretty much we are done. So if I go back here, hit the play button, notice what's going to happen now. I'm going to shut up so that you can hear the splash and cat die sound. So again, let me go back here, select the water fine. I'm going to uncheck this play on awake and I am going to hit apply. I need to pump up the volume so that you can hear that clearly. So now pay attention. So we heard the water fountain. We also heard the splash sound actually the water found a splash sound and the cat died sound we can also go into the main camera and i can attach an audio source on the main camera and for the clip of the audio here for the camera i am gonna filter for pado so this one pado and check this play on awake and check loop so notice the effect now so do you hear again So again, I'm going to run the game. So we have the water effect now also because, well, this audio source on the camera is playing it. And we are pretty much done. Again, we are playing the water splash effect when the cat falls down and the cat dies sound. So again, notice it. And we are done. So this is it. This is the end of the tutorial, guys. Thank you for watching. If you are interested, go and grab the 3D course, which will definitely, definitely help you be a better developer. I explain things here to the extreme level. I go into high detail. I go depth into programming and 3D game development. So it will definitely benefit you. If you want course discounts, link is in the description below to download this project, to download all of these assets, which by the way, you can use them for whatever you want to use them. And that way you will get on my list and you will get course discounts along with all of the free stuff I have to offer. Until next time, guys, until I release next tutorial, which will be, well, soon after this one. Fahir here from awesomedudes.com. Catch you guys in the next video.